Hey everyone, how's it going? So, if you are living anywhere in the Midwest and Upper North, you're experiencing some pretty chilly weather. And snow, and ice, and wind chill, pretty much all of it combined in one. It's another polar vortex. So what does this mean? Well, it means that you'll want to bundle up but you'll also want to look cute at the same time. It's kind of hard to do both, but I have found some perfect winter weather staples for you guys to try out and to keep looking stylish while you stay warm. So obviously just by the name of the video, you can tell why I am wearing my winter jacket. And that's also the first item I'm gonna talk to you guys about is jackets. There's so many out there, you know, um, well, there's vests, then there's like puffer jackets, there's just a ton. Parkas, whatever, you name it. Mine is a little longer. You can see it hits about, it's, it hits about a mid-thigh, which I like because I walk to school in the freezing cold. So I like to keep as much of me warm as possible. Now, this jacket I actually got from Plato's Closet a couple years ago. Um, it's originally from Hollister, as you can see the little bird, um, but I got it for I think like 40 or $50, which is a total steal. Um, I haven't seen these ones. I know on Abercrombie and Fitch, they're like 200 something like that. So $200 is obviously still really expensive, but I think for something like a winter jacket, which you're going to want to have for many seasons to come, it's important to check out the brand and see whether it's worth the money and it's more of an investment piece than just kind of a stylish um, piece of clothing to wear. So just so you guys know, the couple brands I'm going to tell you guys about, they're definitely more expensive, but I am trying to convey more of that winter jackets are um, something that you might need to pay a little more for to get the quality um, and you know, good material that you're gonna want out of a winter jacket. So the first one is obviously North Face. I mean, pretty much everyone knows North Face is a really good brand. They're definitely um, one of the more pricier ones. So, sorry, I'm checking out my notes. It's called the Metropolis Down Parka, and that would be um, similar to how mine is. It hits probably, I think about like mid, um, mid thigh to it as the fur around the hood. Um, it's the Metropolis Down Parka and that runs about $289. I know sometimes at Nordstrom, um, Sports Authority, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, those stores um, sometimes have good deals for them too. So it would be important to kind of check out those uh, deals and see if you could snag any on a good jacket like that. But all the reviews that I had seen um, have been nothing but positive for that jacket. Okay, so the second one is ridiculously expensive, but it's one of those where I feel like if I don't mention it, then, you know, like, what's the point? It's um, by the brand called Canada Goose Jackets. I have seen everyone downtown Chicago wearing these, so obviously they're really popular. Um, but, you know, it's only good if you just happen to have $600 laying around. Again, all the reviews on this one have been nothing but positive, so I would assume that it's um, a really good quality jacket. So next are boots. Obviously, it's going to be snowy, rainy, wet, dirt, all that slush mixed into one. So obviously, you're going to want waterproof boots that are made of um, good materials and that can last long. Again, this is another one of those investment pieces. So I will share my winter boots. I actually got these on an app called Poshmark. It's where you can pretty much um, sell the clothes in your closet. And these are, they might look ugly, but they're super warm. They're Timberland. Um, they're called Earth Keepers. I'm not sure um, what like the name is, but I know they're Timberland Earth Keepers. Um, I got these for about $60. I haven't seen them on the Timberland website anymore, so I'm not sure if they still make those or if another carrier would have them or not, but I love them because they hit like right about um, mid-calf, which is great if it snows, you know, a couple inches and you have to 
truck through big piles or anything like that. And then we have sorrel, which I'm sure everyone knows about. I have been dying for sorrel boots. They're definitely a little more pricey too. The first one would be, it's called Joan of Arctic. Um, it's about $150. I think it's the boot that most people imagine when they think of sorrel. It's like the normal, um, I don't know, winter boot, but then it has the fur at the top. I'll put the link below um, for the sorrel website so you guys can check out all of their boots. Um, I've been wanting these for a while. I've tried them on before. Love them. Super comfy. Really warm too. And they're waterproof, which is excellent. And they're super freaking cute. I mean, seriously, come on, cute boots that are like perfect for winter, why not? The second um, boot from Sorrel is called the Conquest Carly. I will ex try to explain this the best I can, but it's um, it almost looks like a riding boot. It has um, like a kind of a strap that goes underneath the boot. And it almost looks like a covering on the toe. Again, please check out the link so you can see it because I obviously can't explain for crap, um, but check it out and see what I'm talking about. I love these ones too. They're so cute. They're a little more. They're 220 um, but again, I've asked multiple people. They love their sorrels. My third boot I'm going to share with you, I actually own as well. I have seen multiple people wearing these around the city and in my hometown. They're um, hunter boots. Um, that's like the symbol that most people recognize. Um, it's They're actually rain boots. I love these as rain boots. Um, but what you can do is you can get inserts for them. I still have to get mine. Um, but they're like fleece inserts you put in. It's called like a boot sock. And then um, it kind of has a cuff that'll come over. It'll still have the Hunter logo. But some of them are like crocheted. So it'll be like a nice thick... Um, band of like a crochet white, black, you know, they have a ton of colors that you can wear or you can put in the boots so it's extra warm when you wear it. Since they're rain boots, they're obviously, you know, waterproof, um, but I think these are great too because they're both rain boots and winter boots, so you get the best of both. <laughs> My boots, so this specific pattern. Um, of hunter boots. I got them for $194. Now I see that they're like $200 something. Um, but if you just get the solid colored hunter um, rain boots, I think it's about like $140. It's pretty much the average price for just the solid color. And those are really cute too because then you could get the inserts that are different colors. So like if you have black boots, you could get, you know, the red inserts. You can see a little red on the top, you know, something like that. But I definitely recommend these ones as well. So I know I am totally skipping out on scarves, gloves, hats. That's because I am super picky and I switch them out all the time. I don't really wear hats. I usually wear this giant hood. So I look, I don't know, I just look like I have like a fur head instead of a human head. But then for gloves, I just wear my ski gloves actually. I don't know what brand they are either. But I know they have cute like ski gloves out there as well. I'm sure Under Armour has some too. Obviously North Face would. And then scarves, I wear my cozy scarf from The Gap. But obviously there's so many scarf brands and people that make scarves out there that I'm sure you could find one, find a ton, you know, other places as well. I really hope I helped at least some of you find a good jacket or boot or maybe even both for this winter season. And if you are anywhere cold and chilly, getting snow, of course, drive careful, stay warm, dress accordingly. You always want to stay bundled so you don't get hypothermia if you're in wind chills of negative um, like I am over here. So I just hope you guys stay warm and have a good winter season.